Hello and welcome to the Laser Mini Smart Android TV Box Tutorial. For first time users, please follow the on-screen instructions to connect the device to your display. The correct HDMI source must be selected so that you can view the picture on screen. You will now need to pair the remote to the TV box. Please press and hold the back and menu buttons until you see the pairing message on screen. Next, please select the language you would like to use throughout the device menus. Next, you can choose to transfer your Google settings from an Android phone or tablet. You can do this by selecting yes. Please follow the on-screen instructions to complete your setup. For the purposes of our video, we'll be skipping this step. An internet connection is required for proper use of your device, so please connect this now. If you had also skipped the Android phone or tablet setup instructions from before, you will need to sign in with a Google account. Please do this now. After accepting the terms of service, we recommend selecting yes on the location option as this will help certain apps like weather. Choosing a name for your device will determine what it is called when you use spoken commands by the Google Assistant. You will now be asked to see which apps you would like to install by default the first time your device starts up. Our personal preference is to turn all of these off and only install the ones that we need later using the Google Play Store. Please read all on-screen instructions and use the right arrow on your remote to skip through the pages. Here we have the main menu. Your mini Android TV box is able to use spoken commands for almost all functions. By using the Google Assistant button on the remote, you can speak into it to action your command. Here you can see we've opened the settings menu by asking Google to open settings. Just a quick audio tip, for most people you will need to set your surround sound as PCM as this is the default processing mode for most TVs. And for other users that are using an AV receiver, you would probably most want to select the RAW option as this will allow you to take advantage of the uncompressed formats. Under the display option, you can set your screen resolution up to a maximum of 4K 60 frames per second. Next, we'll go to the About section where you can check if your device can perform a system update. Here you can check to see if there are any new updates available for your device. If you would like to rename your device for Google Assistant commands, you can do so under the Device Name option. You are also able to see some other options under the About section such as the Android version and the software version of the device. Now let's open the Netflix app using spoken commands. Hey Google, open Netflix. Once you're in the Netflix app, you can navigate using the remote. However, you are also able to open programs directly from the main menu by asking Google. Hey Google, open Chef's Table on Netflix. As you can see, this function works very well. You can even open the Google Play Store where you can choose from other apps to install on your device. Simply say, hey Google, open Play Store. The Google Play Store will have many new apps that are compatible with your device. Please experiment and try some of these out.
You can also install apps just by asking Google. Hey Google, install Disney Plus. Once the app appears on screen, you will need to select install. You can even search for videos on YouTube using the mic. Hey Google, find fried chicken recipes on YouTube. Once the YouTube app has opened, you will still need to navigate using the remote. You can also exit apps using the Google Assistant. Hey Google, exit YouTube. As you can see, you can use the Google Assistant to access almost all the features of your mini Android TV box. Even if there are some actions that the Google Assistant is not able to perform, it will give you a handy tip on how to use it. Hey Google, perform a firmware update. So as you can see, even though the Google Assistant was not able to action this command, it has given you a handy tip on screen on how to use it. So that pretty much covers it for this tutorial. We hope you guys have fun using your device and we'll catch you in the next video.